autism. The prejudice that suggests that one is better than another simply because of their ability to hear. It is unfortunately a very present prejudice. You know, some of us may not be able to see it at first, but it still does happen. Now, I'm not wanting to push, really push issues into people's faces and say, oh, this is right and anybody who disagrees is wrong or evil or anything like that. No, that's, that's not who I am. The way I see it, love and understand each other, you know, their life's too short to be hating, you know? And that's something that I really wanted to make sure that I brought up in this video. Love and understanding, you know, the lack of hate, no, none of that at all. Um, when you're a hearing person, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. It, it makes it all the more harder, all the harder, I should say, to sort of weave your way into the deaf community because you're hearing this is this is hearing not not deaf it can either go this way or this way um as someone who has only been introduced recently to the deaf culture and is still learning asl like still trying to decipher the difference between summer ugly and dry still still working on the differences between those summer ugly and dry um as someone who is just being introduced to them. Obviously, I am not speaking for the deaf community. I, I can't, I could never, and that's okay. That, that's okay. Um, a lot of us are learning, all of us, a lot of us who are learning ASL, you know, whether out of curiosity or because we know people who are deaf, we've known people who are deaf, I've known people who are deaf. Um, regardless of what you're learning ASL for, it's important to understand the issues that go on versus the uh, within the hearing community versus the deaf community. Are hearing people bad? That was a question that sort of came to my mind during my during my class tonight. Um, obviously, you know anyone can say, well, <laughs> there. Are there are people who try to do good and then there are people who do bad deliberately. You know, there's, there's no perfect person. That is true. That is true. So, with that said, not all hearing people are bad. Not all deaf people are bad. You know, there are bad eggs and good eggs in every group. But, you know, there are obviously going to be those jerks out there who are going to just automatically hate another group or another person simply because of something that something that's different from them. You know, earlier tonight, my teacher told us a story about the daughter of this family, and this family is a deaf family, and they do not like hearing people at all. And that really worried me because I feel like when you, t when, when you grow up in a household that automatically hates a certain group obviously that jumps that goes towards the child it that feel those feelings can trans can and will most a lot of the time transfer to the child that is scary that is scary as heck it, sorry whenever you have those feelings of hate towards a certain people it can hurt someone mentally emotionally physically people talk about oh i hate this group of people because they don't they believe this and not that well i hate this be i hate this because they don't it's it doesn't align with me or it has a lot of things i don't agree with well forgive me if i sound optimistic or maybe just whatever but why does hate have to exist why does hate towards hearing people hate towards you know people of color hate towards even hate toward for whites you know jews muslims christians all that i mean i know this is i know this is like i'm suddenly covering a wide variety of titles and labels and things like that but if only, if only hate didn't have to exist. I know this sounds very black and white, 
and you know people could have all sorts of reasons why they feel the way they do but at the end of the day if you're really going to survive in this world you don't have time to be hating people you you don't have the time and i get it people are going to be jerks people are going to be awful despicable monsters who are going to break your heart and break your spirit maybe even break your bones depending on the situation and you don't have to keep those people in your life but if you're hating on a group of people just because just because of something that they have that's different from yours you're wasting your time you're wasting your life you're not opening yourself up to other possibilities you know if whether you're whether you're hearing or deaf you know or if if whether you're anything else in the world anything else it can hurt people it can hurt yourself you know when you bask in negativity it, you're not just hurting other people you're hurting yourself you're missing out and so I just don't want anybody having to live their lives angry and bitter you know and if somebody has hurt you in the past that you, know, you can't help but hate them for it's understandable why you would strong why you would hate them or at the very least strongly dislike them it's understandable but you can't let that hate and that bitterness consume you so back to my original point are hearing people bad well there's good and bad in every group you know but the actions of a few shouldn't have to define the actions of everybody else you know, you could come across one of the, like, I'm going to put this in very simple terms. Say you have a group of people who like red and you have a group of people who like blue. I love blue, but just, but, and there are, there might be people in the blue area who might try to yell and condemn the red air, the, the red group because of their preferences. Like just because they condemn people who wear red doesn't mean I have to, doesn't mean I have to as a member of the blue group. That's okay. And I know that seems very black and white, very kindergarten-esque, but I want to make sure I make this as general as possible. You know, I don't want to demonize anybody. I don't want to do that. I just want to, I just want to be a good person. I just want to be a good person who loves my family, loves my friend, loves God. I, I am a Christian. I'm not afraid to admit that. That's all I want to be. So... Just because you have something that others don't doesn't automatically make you bad, doesn't automatically make you good. You, your actions are what truly define you. Like if you say that you're a good person, but then you go and rob a bank, lie, lie, cheat, attack people, you really need to rethink that. So with that said, do good be good, feel good, and love, because love is good. So don't be bad. I mean, obviously we're going to make mistakes and that's normal, that's okay, but forgive, learn, and move on. So I know that's, that was a really weird direction for this weekly video to take, but I feel like it's important to bring it up. You know, you don't have you don't have to live a life of wrongdoing. You don't have to. There's always a way. There's always a way to leave, to do something good, leave something good behind. So with that said, I will see you in the next video. Um, please leave comments, you know, below. Let's get a discussion going if you'd like. I am open to it. Constructive comments, please. I know that sounds kind of a unrealistic given YouTube, but it would be nice. So. Okay, I will see you next week. Next week is my birthday, seven days from today, a week from today, so I'm excited about that. I will um, talk to you next week. Take care.